Ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, members of the Roll the Tape film crew. Well, I have to give you all my breakdown and my analysis of this fight between Edgar Berlinga and Canelo Alvarez. Um, let's cut right to the chase. Edgar Berlinga. He's bringing all the ingredients that a young fighter brings to the table in this type of environment. He's bringing confidence to his trash talking. He's bringing predictions. Knockout predictions, to be exact. He's bringing stars and superstars with him, like rappers and other entertainers with him at press conferences, at the weigh-in. He's bringing determination with him, and he's also bringing an undefeated record with him, which will lend to my point of him being experienced, excuse me, with him being inexperienced compared to someone like a Canelo Alvarez. These are all the ingredients that Edgar Berlanga is bringing to the table. The question becomes, is all of these elements of the ingredients that I've mentioned going to be enough for him to bake a cake in this fight? Because if it's not going to be enough for him to bake a cake tonight in this fight against Canelo, then he's going to lose in dominating fashion. And when I say bake a cake, I'm talking about him etching out the win. Icing on this cake, though, is him knocking Canelo Alvarez out like he predicted. But baking the cake is just walking away with a win tonight in this fight. We know what Canelo brings to this environment. I don't even I don't even know where to start when it comes to what Canelo Alvarez is going to bring to this environment because he's been here over 25 plus times. He's been here before. This is just another walk in the park for him. Another day at the office for him. He don't need to bring his lunch in this fight. He can just come to work, do a full eight-hour shift, don't take any lunch breaks, and still will not be tired when he get off work. I'm saying that because of his experience. He's been down this road time and time and time again. In fact, the last time we've seen Canelo traveling down this road was back in September against another undefeated, inexperienced fighter. So we already know what Canelo has. We already know the ingredients that Canelo Alvarez uses when he bakes a cake and spread icing on top of the cake with knockouts. We also understand that Canelo Alvarez is not the same Canelo Alvarez that he was six years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago. And you know what? No one should expect him to be. I mean, Canelo Alvarez has been a professional boxer since he was like 17 years old. So we already know he's coming in this environment with experience. We know this already. And not just the experience of winning fights under the lights. 
but putting icing on the cake against bigger fighters, more experienced fighters, world and former world champions, the caliber of fighters that he's opposed. Edgar Berlinga doesn't have that in his ingredients, his level of opposition. And that means something. That counts for a lot. And that's where you get your experience from in boxing, from the amateur rankings all the way to the professional rankings. So we know what Canelo brings to the dance. We know this already. The question becomes, how is Canelo going to do it when he's fighting against a younger opponent and he slowed down a bit? You look at Canelo's last fight in September, right? Canelo took some punches, Has, haven't he? Yeah. He took some punches. It, it appeared that Canelo was allowing the younger, inexperienced fighter to outwork him in his last fight. That's how it appeared. And by right, Canelo should have done that. And I believe Canelo Alvarez is going to do that again in this fight tonight. I believe Canelo Alvarez is going to allow Berlanger to get some shots off to set up some combinations to let his hands go so that Canelo can counter in between shots. I believe that. Berlanga is a big... I, I told a couple of people this, this week, Berlanga is a big guy. He's a big guy. He's going to come in this fight, the bigger guy, physically. Okay? Once they both rehydrate. But Canelo is going to allow him to throw all them punches. I believe that. And look, and a few of them punches that Berlinger throw might just land. I believe Canelo's game plan is to allow Berlinger to throw those punches so he can eat a few of them. And he's going to catch this young, inexperienced fighter in between shots. I believe the punch that's going to stun Berlinger is the left hook first, then the uppercut. Those are the two punches. I said I said the first one first because we already know the left hook is dangerous from Canelo. The left hook and also the uppercut. Those are the two punches that's going to cause Berlinger problems tonight. Berlinger punch wide a lot. When he throw his hooks, I don't know if you all watched Berlinger fight before or if you watched him fight a few times or you may have even followed his entire career. Um, once he start gaining exposure on networks so that you can actually see him perform and develop. But that's where Canelo going to catch him in between the shots. His hook too wide. In my opinion. Also, Berlanga's feet, to me, I've been watching him, too wide apart when someone else is throwing punches at him. Before he get a chance to set up his punches, I notice that his stance is too wide. That's going to hurt this young man tonight against an experienced Canelo Alvarez. When we look at Canelo and the game plan, strategy number three, I believe Canelo is going to walk this young man down in deep waters. Yep. He going to walk him down into deep waters. Why? Because we know that Berlanga has only fought just the, a, a handful of 12 round fights. Think about three of them to be exact. And 
his last one, his last 12 round fight was only six rounds. So he didn't get enough rounds in before that fight was over. And before that, he did go a four, 12 rounds. So technically speaking, Berlanga only went 12 rounds, literally, I'm talking about a full 12 rounds, literally one time in his entire career. And just two years ago, he was fighting in 10 round fights. See, that means something. See, I'm going by how managers and promoters, how managers, promoters, and matchmakers, how we analyze fighters when, when it's time to put these fighters in the ring together. All right? So, can he have the mental endurance necessary to still be in this fight when the punches that he throw and land on Canelo not affect him? How will that mentally impact him if he's throwing his best punch and landing his best punches and landing his best combinations and Canelo is still walking him down? So Berlanga, with what he has to do, those are the three strategies I'm going to give Canelo and what I believe Canelo is going to do to win and possibly put the icing on this cake to knock Berlinger out. And I'm not saying he's going to knock him out. I do believe, though, that he will knock Berlinger down at least once in this fight. Back to Berlinger, three, three strategies. Number one, from the opening bell, soon as the bell rings, don't punch yourself out, young man. This is this is this is the thing with with, with Berlinga, because he's from New York. He got that East Coast, you know. Y'all know that East Coast flavor. We get aggressive on the East Coast. We wanna we wanna prove ourselves with a chip on our shoulder, right? That's not the game plan that should be implemented in this fight against Canelo with his experience. From the opening bell, though, let Canelo know I'm going to be here. For the entire 12 rounds, mentally and physically. And how do you do that? Berlanga needs to let his hands go early on. Don't punch himself out, of course, because he got to save that energy for the later rounds. If this fight even goes the distance. But let Canelo know, I'm going to be here all night. And so what he's going to have to do. From round one, let his hands go. Because we know Canelo's going to keep his guards up. We know that. The air muffs, the air muff stance, right, on defense. We know that. We, we know this already. Keep trying to land punches around and through the guard. Strategy number one. Number two. Strategy number two, Berlanger is going to have to do something that most fighters don't do against Canelo. And that's attack his body early. Head hunting Canelo is not going to work. Yes, those punches are going to land eventually through the peekaboo style of Canelo. But strategy number two, dig down to the body early on. Go downstairs in the basement. And turn those lights off. That's what he's going to have to do. Strategy number two. Go to the body. Early on. And strategy number three. And strategy number three. Which is extremely important. Preserve his energy. Berlanger is going to have to do. A better job at managing his energy, while still letting his hands go. He's going to have to create and find balance, especially in those middle rounds. If this fight still is in the middle rounds, he's going to have to be able to do that because we know that one of Canelo's gifts is his conditioning. And people don't give Canelo a lot of credit for him enduring and having that stamina. But Canelo has great conditioning. And Berlanga, being the bigger guy, after he rehydrates, his punches are going to start slowing down as this 
fight progress. He's going to have to preserve his energy and find balance. First, he has to create the balance after he finds it. So you find it first. We know that. But then the first thing is, after you find it, create the balance. Don't go in there thinking about knocking Canelo out. Because that's where, mentally, he'll start getting fatigued. And then that's when we, we're going to see Canelo pick up his levels, as he always do. That's my breakdown and analysis for this fight. I think this is going to be a fight that is going to go past six rounds. I believe that. I do believe it's not going to be one of those fights where Canelo go in here and for the first three or four rounds get this guy out of here. I think Canelo's going to start warming up after four rounds. And then around nine or ten, Canelo's going to pick those levels up and start picking the young man apart before this, but then seal the deal. And I think that Berlina is going to get knocked down at least once. And Canelo will come out with the win. I do not believe that Berlinger is going to knock Canelo down or knock him out. But we shall see. I'm doing way too much talking. Don't take my word for it. Roll the tape.